Make it, oh, make for the summit. All right, straightforward enough. Look at this place, this place is crazy. Right, let's try to deal with, okay, so we have the layering I was talking about. Whenever you see ridges like this where they stick out and then in over and over again, it's not because there was any sort of like, it's not, it didn't erode, well, it did erode that way, but it's not because of like gouges or anything. What happened is that there's two alternating layers here. One that's dark and one that's, uh, I'm, pff, one that's dark. One that's uh, hard and one that's soft. And then the, and so when erosion happens, the soft one erodes more than the hard one. So that's why that part sticks out. That, that's where that part is more gouged away than the hard layers between the soft layers. It's like imagining, Imagine solid rock with, like, layers of sand in between, and that's the vague idea. And that's clearly an element of what's going on here a bit. I'd be curious to see what is going on here. Uh, one of the most common cases of this happen happening is usually when uh, the coastline goes up and down over time, and then uh, coarser and softer grain sand and gravel and stuff is deposit deposited by the ocean. But that's- we're in a- we're on a volcano, so... I would have to suppose that different constitutions of, uh, magma are being exuded over time. Where some- where sometimes the, uh, magma is very thick and- and harder, and when other times it's not. But I've never been great at volcanology, so I don't- I cannot say much about magma itself. <laughs> but that'd be the basic concept, is that there must- there must be two alternating types of, uh, of magma of regularly Why exuding from this place. Holy crap, the peak is a. Th oh, never mind. I was gonna say the peak of this place is a freaking third of a mile away? Oh, cool, it's a half a mile away. It got bigger when I did this. I feel better. Ha ha ha. This place is constant chaos, though. It's like I've said, whenever you see layers like this, they tend to be horizontal. That's sometimes less true when it comes to volcanoes, because it could be slanted on the side of the volcano because it's not depositing the same way as normal sedimentary rock. But either way, the fact that this is chaotically pointing in a bunch of different directions means that this debris is being broken off and relocated on a regular basis. Because it sure as hell doesn't deposit in these configurations. This is definitely not columnar jointing as much as some people might want to say that... Nah, nothing about it really fits. Although, maybe my initial thing is not quite right, either. Yeah, I was thinking it's layers, but the... the gouginess of it seems to be on every side. Still wouldn't be columnar jointing, but it could be, uh, magma dikes? Basically, individual tunnels where the lava escapes through the sides of the, uh... through the sides of the mountain. It's just everywhere, though. Honestly, I think this is... It's either something I'm inf it, it could be something I'm unfamiliar with, but... With What's relatively likely, because it's a video game, is it's probably just random nonsense. Because they're like, that looks cool, let's put that in our environment. And then the, and then the level designer just puts it everywhere. And it you, probably doesn't quite make as much sense as it did in the larger en environment. Wow, the moment I start fighting spirit corns, I kind of forgot that there's also angry... Uh, there's angry scorpions here everywhere, too. Whistle time! Well, that didn't go well for them. How you feeling, Spearcorn? Well, that one went cleanly, didn't it? There we go. There's one. So we have two separate directions I can go in. Le call, it seems like left would be the right choice. I'm gonna try right. Maybe it'll be a Do dead end with a, with item at the end. Past my peak. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm afraid you've still got a ways to go. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. Here we go. Now we've got yeah, we got gravel again. Killer climb. Yeah, why would there be light it's sediment around me. here exactly? Feeling a steep pain. Oh wow. Am I One getting false step and you won't feel anything ever again? Am I getting stamina loss from climbing the slope? Oh yeah, I am. 
That's new. That's never really happened before. So I need to rest on top of rocks. Or the stamina loss stops me in my tracks. I wonder which path is more fitting. Here we go. Keep going. Alright, we're just gonna rest for a moment here. I literally just typed into my Discord chat. I'm playing- I'm trying to record Final Fantasy 15 right now. I can't deal with how every how confused everyone is. Everyone's trying to talk about various things and I interject very briefly during travel time. And... Man... It's interesting watching a group of people play what's essentially a game of telephone where nobody can... keep track of a conversation properly and everyone's just saying nonsense and then... hearing hearsay, it's like... I just glanced over and saw someone be like, I didn't know that Keith loved Doom! I'm like, How, why do they think I love Doom? Huh? I'm, sure, I'm sure it's fine, but I have like no history with Doom. Where is that happening? That just... Just been happening in the background here. This is a big climb. Up we go. Up we go. If only we could roll. Oopsie. Here we go. So if I stand still, I think my legs whoa! Are gonna give. Don't even want to think about how Holy. sore I'm gonna be tomorrow. Okay. Um. Okay. Now I know. I was just curious. If I stand still, do I lose my stamina? And the case is, uh. Who cares? Because if you stand still for at any point, your character slides down hilariously and uh, all hope is lost, as it were. So let's avoid that. Holy crap. If only uh, Noct was known for having some kind of, you know, sword warping ability that could easily rectify this entire situation. Funny how the game just kind of forgets about that all the time. It's weird, right? He just warps around constantly during combat, but the moment it's not combat, there's just like, Oh, it's a slight cliff with a treasure on top of it? That's too bad, I guess you'll never get that unless you find the secret passage. And I'm like, I have a sword teleport, why don't I just grab the treasure right now? And then now I'm in this situation where it's like, I'm freaking climbing a giant mountain and exhausting myself. Why don't I just teleport to the top? Seems like it'd be easier. Unless he's doing this for the sport of it or something. Careful. There we go. Well. A lot of areas to fall down around here. The fact that this is giving me so much work either means that there's gonna be some cool reward at the end, or it's the intended path. We'll see. Watch both paths totally take me to the same place. And it turns out that this one's just the one that takes more work. Uh... Although, it might be that the forked path actually might be that, uh... The alternate path might just be the the, the place you fall into. As with the heat? As we climb, so does the temperature. Uh-huh. I'm no geologist, but I'm pretty sure this is a volcano. Hey! What are the chances of it erupting while we're here? Right side, you won't suffer long if it does. That's not... yeah, that's accurate. A chance of erupting at a specific time, usually unlikely. Volcanoes, pretty much every volcano erupts rather infrequently. First, everybody. Here we go. That's Hello, friend. Now. Ooh. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. That said, yeah, if you're on a volcano, if it eru violently erupts, uh, you... You're pretty much dead, in many cases. Volcanoes are really nasty when they, uh, erupt. It's not just a... Cone that spews lava at the top in many cases, although, yeah, there are. are hanging around here? Th th those are literally called spatter cones, actually. Uh, but many, many erupt many volcanoes actually explode when they erupt. Not all of them. They're, they are kind of all over the place. Some of them are just goopy, goopy spouts. But, uh, some of them basically explode. And there's been a number of people that have just died horribly. Well, but very abruptly in, uh, those kinds of. Detonations. I want to say it's a difference. I think it's might be the difference between felsic and mafic. I think felsic eruptions are the ones that tend to be 
the more violent, because Felsic, I think, is more reactive and more, uh, like, viscous. We've two paths before us. Knox, do us all solid and choose the one that's not a dead end. Easy. Uh, Said than done. I mean, there's two paths and one of them is us climbing up a literally lava. Oh, wait, maybe not. Is this like a staircase I can jump to? Okay, maybe not. Does this stuff hurt? Kind of. Way less than I expected, though, to be fair. We'd best make haste through the hot spots. I kind of thought lava would hurt more. Huh. Peculiar. Yeah, you just kind of casually walk across exposed lava. For context, if you put your phone on this kind of stuff, it would just get obliterated. And that's not even a living creature. Yeah, you don't want to. If something looks like this, you shouldn't be anywhere near it. <laughs> It's, this is not livable heat. This is a mess. But I've got to fight monsters here, so of course I'm, al I'm allowed to survive here for a bit. Ow. Pain. Armager! Yeah. Murder! 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 That it? Oh, there's still one, there's still one left. That's unfortunate. You're weak against normal swords. Hello. No. Oh, I'm healing now. Okay. Good to go. I was gonna try to recover via Ignis's. Oop. Where is? There we go. I want to recover via Ignis's recovery skill, but then the fight ended, so I lost the ability. I wonder if the other this, if this just leads to the other path, which was just not lava-y and totally safe, and then, and I just did that for no reason. Kind of looks like it would be. Yeah, looks like I might just point right back. Up we go. If I jump a lot, does that avoid fire damage? <laughs> oh wow! Now that looks way worse. Don't touch that for sure. That looks like lava, so we definitely don't want to go down there. And this road won't take us any further. Seen all there is to see here. Then we search elsewhere. That's cool looking. That's really cool looking. All right, not bad. Hope I don't miss any items around here. I would hate to find out that there's like a super crazy, like lava ultra great sword just chilling out around you. It's the Fume Ultra Great Sword in Final Fantasy. Surprise! That would be that would come as a bit of a surprise to just see that stuff around. Yeah, this is just ash all the way across, isn't it? This might just be the connective tissue that takes you to the other path if you made the wrong choice, though. Sweating buckets. <sighs> Out of the frying pan and into the volcano. I mean, fitting enough. Hi, friends. Whee! I don't think he liked that. I think that, that went poorly for him. Yay! My favorite part was the murder. Uh, there might be a few bad guys here. Watch out. Hello. Nice of you to visit. Now die. He's not taking this very well. Oh, jeez. The Durgan's chewing on me. Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> wow, he just sh he just shoved that gun right up its butthole. <laughs> that angle was really unfortunate. <laughs> Anyone attacking me? Oh, I squandered my counter opportunity by attacking in that moment. Come and get me. Oh, I auto dodged somebody else's attack, and that lot made me lose my chance to get my counter. I think. He's dead. Hello. Were you about to attack me in the air? How'd that work out? Hello. Found you in the sky. So you joined me on the floor. Take a hit, damn it. There we go. Anyone dead? Not me. Knocked. Just finish that one off by just teleporting to everybody. Oh. 
Got ourselves a few goods. Oh, missed one. Wow. We are just the antithesis of wildlife today, aren't we? What's going on? Face the cliff head on. By oh. Face, oh. You climb. You got a better way I up see. The rock. And then, 20 hours in, we just suddenly discover our characters are excellent climbers. And can just go straight up walls. Good thing he doesn't have a teleport, or this would be silly. <laughs> Anyone up here? Oh, more climbing. Okay. This dungeon's an event so far, isn't it? Supposedly those big doors you see are endgame, endgame dungeons, so... I'll feel a little silly if I have to redo all of this climbing to open a door. This is a long one. Huh. Kind of seems peculiar. There's no quick time event or like a stamina meter or like a system of like climbing and resting and climbing and resting or anything like that. It's just... I just kind of wait. <laughs> just a, a lot of developers would try to make this some kind of gameplay moment. Hey, that looks like the top. At least for now. And there's an item here. More building stone and a resting location. This place is practically begging to be camped on. Hold our hike a moment. Obtain a zoo egg. So it sounds like I may have found my way to Gladiolus's quest when I wasn't necessarily trying to. I didn't really I didn't really realize that his uh, quest was inside the dungeon at the Shall time. Camp here? So my goal's way over there, apparently. I'm hoping I'm on the right route for it. I came I tried to do the dungeon itself. But it sounds like I may have found my way to the location of Perfect Cup. That's Perfect Cup, and that's Cup of the Rock of Ravito. Seems like one's on the other way to the other, perhaps. Either way, I may be doing both of them in here. Let's do it. Let's maybe rest. Wait, are we seriously sleeping here? You see a better place. It's cool. Get to rest in a cool location. Maybe we'll trigger. A story scene between our characters. I get to, I get to get a uh, a stat buff by eating here. That's a new one. Breaded cutlet with tomato. I also get some AP as a result, which is nice. Uh, just for resting in the first place. If I cook somebody's favorite, I should also get more. I think I bought that. That's the bread of the cut with tomato. Anything else I've gotten that's new? Thick and juicy steak. Blazing, braised, gizzard. Sweet saltwater crustacean curry. Sweet and salty. And then there's a cup of noodles. Almost obligatory at this point. Here you go, Gladdy. We did it! Damn it, I'm hungry again. It doesn't even matter if I just ate or haven't eaten in all day. Every single time I see food in, in this game, it just makes me hungry. Stop selfieing while driving, whoa. Uh, he looks confused as I am. That's just a swarm of dragons. That's boss. Come now, it's nothing special. Why? Stop it. Stop taking pictures of me getting on the chocobo. It looks super awkward. That's like the twentieth one. It's getting really weird. Gentiana again. There she what? is. When was she here? She wasn't. This time, I'm sure of it. And the plot thickens. She just teleports into your photos, being weird. Stop it. What is your problem? It's getting really weird. Why do you keep taking the same photo over and over again? Man, this is place was crawling with unfortunate nasties. for you. That's kind of cool. That's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, that's me fighting a glowing bird in midair yeah, with a crazy in a, with a crazy uh, mountain background. 
Stop taking me w f w pictures of me like breaking my leg while getting on Chocobo. You're photographing the most awkward part of the entire animation and preserving it for the future over and over again. I don't understand your motivations. When Octus's friends eat their favorite food at camp, their techniques may develop faster or deliver critical hits more often. Speaking of which, let's look into new skills. Is that on this tree? No, those are different bonuses. I want to look into some of these though. More warp strike damage. Warp strike to break Damon appendages. Deliver critical hits when uh, when warp striking in close range. It's really expensive though. Let's see. Do I have this one already? Yeah. This is like the mid-air movements. This is phased through without using any MP by hitting at the last second. Right now, it costs me almost nothing to do that, though. Let's look into, into techniques now. So I can get Star Shell? Yeah, that's the new one. Draw the attention of an enemy across a wide area with a firearm. Weakens demons. Depletes tech bar by one. Deal heavy damage with machinery by overloading its energy output. Depletes tech bar by two. That could be cool. Draw enemies in an area closer with machinery by creating a gravitational field! Unleash a barrage of... at multiple enemies with a pair of firearms. That seems like it'd be cool. He uses all three tech bars, though. Can I get more tech bars? Add to the tech bar when Noctis lands attacks. That's not bad, being able to increase the tech bar myself. Add when he suffers damage. Accelerate his rate of replenishment. Let's see, Cyclone damage. This is Gladiolus. Uh, deal damage to nearby enemies with a fearsome shield shockwave. M move to quickly guard Noctis with a shield. Ambush enemies with a frontal. Sweeping greatsword area attack. And then, yeah, break limit. So right now I'm using Ignis's regroup. Which I like a lot. Concentrate ally attacks on a foe. Devastating death blow attacks. Imbue Noctis' weapon with an element his target's weakest too. That's not bad. That cost me 18. 18. I can't do both. This one could be really powerful though. Let's go for this bonus for now. And if I get the opportunity, I may go for Cyclone. I kind of like the idea of Prompto just hanging out with this starting skill because it only reduces the uh, bar by one. Oh, the star shell might be a decent replacement too. I like the idea of having an, a one bar option in the mix. Maybe having a one, two, and three would be nice. Maybe a, a single target attack for one, a buff or a heal for two, and then a big attack for three. Probably Gladiolus in that case. Uh, but yeah, this one sounds nice because here, uh, this just hits one enemy. Having using his the advantage of his range, it'd be good to get an AOE attack in the middle of a horde of enemies by using Cyclone. I need one more AP first though, which shouldn't take long to get to. Ignis, we've been using regroup for a while. Let's give enhancement a shot. That might un, that might help me out with the fact that I often fight people that are resistant to lightning, for example, because I stubbornly like to just stick with my weapon. Because well, it's a nice weapon. I like it. Don't judge me. <laughs> I don't have a lot of other great weapons. There we go. Putting my status bonuses back on. Feeling refreshed. Well, the tent lets you stretch out a bit more. That's, uh... Wow, actually, that's... That's honestly a pretty small tent for four people to sleep in. Yeah, I don't know how you... I'm not sure how much you're stretching out in there. They had time for playing cards? Where'd they sleep in there? Did they sleep on the floor inside the tent with nothing else? There's no sleeping bags in there. There's just scattered cards. Do uh, do we leave all of our litter? I know the game wants... The game probably wants us to s feel like we actually are leaving a campsite. But the fact that we don't clean up is weird because that's just like a bunch of... playing cards and... cans that are half eaten out of. And... maps, which we probably need. And then open cans of stuff and a bunch of food. That's food over there. At least we put our fire out. There's a weird glowy thing in the middle, but that's got to be the weird magic of the shrine of these havens, not the uh, fire we made. So there's, there's that, I suppose. Whoa. 
Enjoy the trigger phobia, everyone. <laughs> I think that's what you call it. Hold up, down there. People what that get that? freaked out by small holes, like a seeing a bunch of holes everywhere, like the amygdala enemy in a in blood in a Bloodborne. In fact, this entire area I'm looking at looks kind of like the uh, amygdala area from Bloodborne. Watch your step, kids. The nightmare of no whatever spot. name. I'm not the clumsy one. Although I think trigger phobia might only be affect affect people where the when the series of weird holes is on a living creature. Maybe like a bunch of locations where where eggs are gonna come out. Howdy, folks. I'm exhausted. Die! Get out of the sky. I hate you. Whoopsie. And then pain. Well, that didn't really work out. I tried. So you guys are weak against... Alright, ice. Let's give my new skill a shot then, huh? Ice powers. I'm an ice monster. Take this. Ow. Oopsie. I'm not going to counter that correctly. Guys, I think I just really struggle with these monsters. Whoa, I got a D for evading the fight. Even though the fight's clearly still happening. Glitchy ass game. <laughs> There we go. It's giving me purple numbers, but I think I am getting a damage boost from the, uh, from the ice. I think it's just that the, I'm using a, a, a series of positive and negative effects against these enemies, and it doesn't know how to balance them color-wise, so it just is like, ah, when in doubt, purple. Alright, I got the point I was, ho I was hoping for now. Cyclone. Even have a point to spare. There we go. That'll give me a couple of new toys to play with. So, did that max out, by the way? Oops. Prompto! There's a crown next to it. Does that mean that it's maxed out? I don't see any other crowns. There's one. Level 8. Oh yeah, there's no percentage. It just says level 8 now. So it must- it must- the crown must mean that it's maxed out. Ooh, 99% crit chance. That's pretty cool. That's probably why I like using that skill then. Why it, why it feels effective is because it gives me uh, such a huge chance of success by giving, taking enemies that are only taking a few hundred damage per hit and then just destroying them for hundreds. Am I staying icy? Let's do this. I think I'm staying icy. Uh, right. Want some? Gotcha. No, lock on. Don't attack nothing. We need to punish him. Giving it a shot. Should be able to finish this guy off. Make it count. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, I knew that was that was gonna hurt. I was trying to send uh, Prompto after him, and I thought Prompto was initiating the attack because the game kind of weirdly paused and started staring off in a weird angle, like it was doing the attack, and then it kind of just nowhere left to climb. Stopped. Should we check out the area below? There's the Our egg. Goal is to get the egg and escape. Speed is imperative. Mama bird won't leave the nest unattended for long. Huh? That fall kind of trapped me, didn't it? How do I pick that up? I say, we take back the biggest one. We can't carry that thing! Something portable, perhaps? How in the world... I got one? How did I do that? Enjoy your cup of noodles at camp. How did I do that? What? Sure hope we don't have an accident. What? On our way. How did I do that? 